For this experiment, we will be using ordinary tap water, but we will be adding food dye to make it more visible. The Leyden frost effect requires a very hot surface, one at several hundred degrees Celsius. This pan has been heating up for several minutes. Once the pan's heated up, let's splash water on it and see what happens. Notice how much the little droppers bounce around, and how they tend to group up. And once a big dropper started moving, it tends not to stop, such as a ball on ice. However, if we add too much water, all this stops and it just evaporates away. All that unusual behaviour of the water that we just saw is due to the Leyden frost effect. So let's find out what exactly causes the Leyden frost effect. Like we did in our experiment, we will start by dropping water onto a hot surface. If the surface is near the boiling point of water, the water will just bubble and evaporate away. This also happens if you add too much water, as the excess water will draw the heat and cool the surface down. However, if the surface is at a large temperature, known as the Leyden frost point, the Leyden frost effect comes into play. When the surface is this hot, a thin layer of steam builds up immediately below the droplet, meaning it never touches the pan, and the steam insulates the droplet, keeping it from getting hot enough to boil. This cushion of air is very similar to a hovercraft, and means there's very little friction, so when the droplet starts to move around the pot, it doesn't stop moving for quite a while. This means the droplets can easily build up speed and start to bounce around the pot, as seen in the experiment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and follow me on Tumblr and Twitter for news and behind the scenes information.